the next method in this process is ng after view check this method will get called every time there is a change in the view let's understand this with an example this is the code from our parent component and this code is coming from our child component let's make some changes in the child component and we need to get all those changes in the parent component so here we are in the child this is the shared components authors and this is the child component so basically this is the parent component the home component and this is the child component the authors component and we are using this authors component over here in this home component the concept is very simple okay in the child component let's add one more button so here after this authors child work i'm adding one button and here i'm having click me let's see what we have on the ui on the ui we are having this button click me very good now i want to add one property over here in this child component so over here let's add one property let's say i'm writing public and child counter the type is number and let's put the initial value that is the zero on this button click i want to increase its value so over here in this html let's use the click event and and let's create one method so here i'm writing increase counter this one this increase counter let's put its definition over here so somewhere over here we can write its definition it is void and over here i'm just increasing the value child counter plus plus and just for the demonstration i'm using this value over here on this button like this so what we have done we have created a button it is a very simple plain button it is having one click event in this click event we are increasing a counter property that we have created over here let's see what we have so by default the value is zero if i'm clicking over here and it is one two three four very simple and because we are using this authors component as a child over here in this home component ultimately this is the part of this home component it means if there is any change in the child counter property i want to get that change over here in this parent component how to do that for that let's get one more view child because ultimately we are having a child component and to get the properties or the methods we can use the view child and in this view child i can write the name of our component that is the authors component and here let's use auth component and let's define its type it is again the authors component i can implement the same logic by using the at the rate output decorator but here because we are learning about the hooks so i want to do this situation with the view child and i need to call something over here in this parent component every time there is a change in that child property how to do that if i'm writing it over here then this method will get called only once it means we will not get that value every time for this we have to call one more hook and that is ng after view checked let's use after view checked and implement its method just hold your mouse on the name you will get the quick fix over here click on this one and just implement the interface so here we are this is ng after view checked now let's use this console.log over here paste it and here i can use this auth component so this dot auth component dot child counter so ultimately we are writing this code in the parent component let's see what we have so let's go to the console and by default the value is zero just clean everything and hit on this click button you can see we are having this one it, this message is coming from the parent component but we are making the changes in this child component it means if there is any change in the view then you can track the change by using ng after view checked every time you will click over here this hook will get called 